So why is NASA spending a half a billion dollars on a rocket that has been canceled? Because Congress made a law that they have to. Why did Congress make a law that they have to waste money on a rocket that will never be built? Because building rockets creates lots of jobs, even if the rockets never fly or even get actually built. But isn't the idea of spending money on rockets to fly the rockets? Apparently not for NASA, judging by all the billions that they have spent for years on rockets that didn't fly. The jobs are more important to Congress than whether we ever actually do anything in space. No congressman ever got elected because we built a space station, but many congressmen have been re-elected because they got a space station contract for their district or state. Well, is the rocket that NASA is spending half a billion dollars a good rocket? No. That's why it was canceled. It's also why Congress passed a law that they should build a different rocket. So why isn't NASA building the different rocket? Because Congress won't give them the money to do it. So it would be against the law for them to do it. Yes. But didn't Congress pass a law that they have to do it? Not exactly. Congress passed a law that they could do it if they got the money. And they can't do it until Congress passes a different law that allows them to stop building the rocket that won't be built and shift the funds to the one that Congress wants them to build. Yes. So when Senator Nelson demands that NASA obey the law, he's actually demanding that they disobey the law. Yes. Well, if Congress passes a new law so that NASA can obey Senator Nelson's law while not violating Senator Shelby's law, will the other rocket get built? No. Why not? Because Congress won't give them enough money. Why won't Congress give them enough money? Because we can't afford it. Haven't you noticed? The country is in hock to China. Has NASA told Congress that they don't have enough money? Yes. Isn't it unusual for NASA to be that honest to Congress? Yes. It generally only happens when NASA doesn't actually want to do what Congress wants it to. Didn't the Augustine panel also tell Congress that NASA would need more money for the other rocket? Yes. Hasn't the Government Accounting Office said that NASA would need more money for the other rocket? Yes. What does Congress say when they are told by NASA, the GAO, and the Augustine panel that they can't build the rocket that Congress wants them to for the money that Congress has authorized? That Congress says it believes that NASA can do it anyway. Congress says it has confidence in NASA. Does Congress explain how NASA can do what everyone else, including NASA, says it can't? Yes, it says that it will do it through, and I quote, cultural changes that will drive down development and operational costs through innovation, improved practices, right-sized infrastructure, and reducing other fixed costs. Is that plausible? Apparently, we used to write that kind of vague horse crap in all of our winning NASA proposals. Does it ever actually happen? No. Does Congress realize that quote reducing fixed costs end quote means in part laying lots of people off? They probably didn't think about it. So why does Congress believe it will work this time? I don't know. It seems to be a faith-based initiative. Well, if NASA somehow builds the other rocket, what will it do? No one knows. There are no payloads specified for it or money to pay for them. Then how did they size it? That is unclear too. Apparently, the rocket scientists in the Senate got out their slide rules, or calculators, or computer simulators, or Ouija boards, or something, and then pulled numbers out of their fundaments. Did they provide a size in English units or metric? English. Did NASA cost the vehicle in English units or metric? Metric. Isn't that the kind of error that caused the space probe to do a controlled flight into terrain on Mars? Yes. How much did it add to the specified payload weight? About 10%. How much did it add to the gross liftoff weight? A lot more than that. Probably enough that the rocket will fall over off the gantry, burn, and sink in the swamp. How much did it add to estimated development costs? Don't ask. Would sizing it in English units make it affordable? No. Will it be a good rocket? No. Will it be reliable? Probably not. Will it be cheap to operate? It is specifically designed to be based on shuttle technology. Is that a yes or a no? The shuttle cost over a billion dollars per launch over its life, and it was partly reusable. This vehicle will be completely expendable and will probably have a lower flight rate because we can't afford the payloads for it. You figure it out. Then why are we building it? We aren't building it. There's not enough money for it. 
haven't we already been over all this? But we will continue to spend money on it, but not enough? Yes. For how long? Until it gets cancelled, without flying. Why? Haven't we already been over this? Do other planets have congresses? I do not know. Why do you ask? It might explain why we've never been visited. 